their eyes, kids. Please welcome your host, Kat Dealey. It's great music and perfect sound likes. It is, of course, stars in their eyes, kids. But I think you knew that already. Take five 16 and unders who can sing like pop stars, then unleash them onto you, the great British public. So let's release the first into the wilds of Wiltshire. <laughs> We're at Stonehenge. Um, we pretty much come here all the time but today's kind of special because we get to go in the middle of the stones. <laughs> Since I found out I was on the show, I've just been literally just walking around with a massive smile on my face. My dream is I've always wanted to walk through the smoky doors and say, you know, tonight I'm going to be. <laughs> I love rock music, it's just great. The adrenaline rush is amazing when I go to gigs. There's always a bit of moshing involved. <laughs> a couple of clues about the person I'm going to be tonight is uh, she started off her career in one of the most successful girl bands ever, and she has been a campaigner and a UN ambassador. This place has sort of been like a really big inspiration for me, so hoping it'll help me get through the performance. Plenty of rocks, but no rock and roll, from Alison Halliday. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Now, the person that you're going to be tonight, mm -hmm. it's a bit of a change from the kind of music you like, isn't it? Definitely, definitely. What kind of stuff are you into? Uh, I'm into rock and metal and ska and emo. <laughs> OK, so it's very, very different. But you haven't always been into this kind of music. You haven't always been into metal, have you? No. <laughs> no. And we actually have the evidence here, ladies and gentlemen, of... Um, the music you used to like. Let's take a look. <laughs> very, very cute, and uh, obviously a huge fan of MC Hammer back in those days. <laughs> but you actually really wanted to show that film, didn't you? Yeah. Why? Because uh, my nephew, Andrew, yeah. um, he's 18 now and he's got a girlfriend and he's just going to be really, really embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> on, on national TV in front of millions. Nice work. <laughs> like it very much. <laughs> uh, now, earlier on, uh, you told us that she was in the most successful girl band ever. Yeah. Um, do you have any more clues for me? Yes. Uh, she released the fastest selling health and fitness video of 2001. Mm -hmm. She is most famous for her Union Jack dress. Yes. And she covered It's Running Man. OK, so come on, tell us, who are you going to be tonight? Tonight, Kat, I'm going to be Jerry Halliwell. Jerry Halliwell. I'm so surprised. <laughs> Good luck. Enjoy it. Off you go. <laughs> Singing Look At Me live, 16-year-old Alison Halliday is Jerry Halliwell. Good looking, bad tasting, full bodied, bad wasting, loose living, tight fitting. What you see ain't what you are getting. Big makeup, little breakup. She wants it, he's got it. Blooded, hot gossip, superficial expectation. Look at me. You can take it all because this face is free. Maybe next time use your eyes and look at me. I'm the drama queen if that's your me <laughs> sometimes I don't recognize my own face 
I look inside my eyes and find disgrace. My little white lies tell a story. I see it all. <laughs> you seem a bit shell shocked. I am. In what way? I don't know. It, it wasn't me coming through those doors. <laughs> really? Does it feel slightly like an out of body experience? It does. It's an amazing experience. Really? Yeah. Really? Because you've come out all girly as I well. Know. <laughs> it's really funny because you're so not in normal everyday life. Nope. And has, is it true your brother's been helping you with the dance routine a bit? He has a little. Why? Go on, tell me. You know, he's a rugby player. He's been lifting me up and... Has he? With his weight, so you can practice. Yeah. It was fab. Well done. Thank and you. Did, did you enjoy it? I did, yeah. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> I might ask you again tomorrow or something. Okay. You're not quite... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Alison Halliday as Jerry Halliwell. Well done, Thank you. We've got one third Britain's most successful modern trio and back home madness with an original rock chick. See you in just a moment. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, when our next star formed his band, they threw away their electric guitars. That's rocking blasphemy. But they still managed to make it big, even with no strings attached. So when is a rock band not a rock band? Here's your answer from new voice number two. Today I've come down for a day with my mates so we can go go-karting. Come on. I really love to sing and any opportunity to perform, I'll, I'll just take it and grab it. So I'm really looking forward because this is really big. Something that not a lot of people know is that Zach actually auditioned for um, S Club Juniors back in Year 6. Can't believe you just said that. A lot of people say that I look like the artist I'm going to be, but I don't really think I do. <laughs> I was born on the 8th of March, 1979 in Hastings. I probably will be nervous, but I think they'll be good nerves, and I'm really looking forward to how I do. It's going to be cool. Very cool indeed. Here is Zach Harris. How are you doing? Are you doing? Was that good fun? It was amazing. Now, I know you don't want to talk about it because we saw it in the film, yeah. but I have to. S Club Juniors. Yeah. 11 was a big year for you. What happened? Oh, I did audition for S Club Juniors right. in front of loads of like judges and okay. um, I sang Reach yeah. and I got through the first round and then I sang it again and I didn't get through the second round. Oh, yeah. okay. So, so. It was a near miss. Yeah. And who were the judges? <laughs> uh, Carrie Grant, David Grant, uh, and yeah. Nikki Chapman. So you had to run the gamut of all the judges that yeah. have ever been on the TV shows, yeah. and you got through to the second stage. How did you feel when you didn't get it? Well, first off, I was slightly gutted. Yeah, of but course. Um, then about a year later, I was kind of like, probably a good job I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> probably was. Yeah. It probably was. But something really good happened that year too. 
Mm. I won an art competition. Yeah. And uh, my drawing was on the side of a bus. Wow. Yeah. Um, I had to design a fish to advertise the Oceanarium. OK. And so I designed a purple fish with a saxophone, and I called it Blues with a Twist Fish, and okay. it was on the side of a bus. Well, I That's think cool. we've got a picture. Let's take a look at the picture. They're pretty cool. So yeah. you'd be just strolling around your local town and you'd be like, I did that bus. Yeah. <laughs> Fabulous. Um, now, you've already told us that the person you're going to be was born in Hastings. Yeah. Do you have any more clues for me? Yeah. Uh, the person I'm going to be tonight is in a three-piece band. Yeah. Uh, they played at Live 8 and their debut album, Hopes and Fears, was one of the biggest selling albums of 2004. Okay. So, come on, tell us, who are you going to be tonight? Tonight, Kat, I'm going to be Tom Chaplin from Keen. Tom Chaplin. <laughs> Good luck. Enjoy it. Off you go. <laughs> Singing somewhere only we know live, 15 year old Zach Harris is Tom Chaplin from Keen. An empty land. I knew the path where I could back with my head. I felt the earth beneath my feet. Sat by the river and it made me complete. Oh, simple thing. Where have you gone? I'm getting old and I need something to rely on. So tell me when you're gonna let me in I'm getting tired and I need somewhere to begin I came across a fallen tree I felt the branches of them looking at me Is this a place who used to love? Is this a place that I been dreaming oh oh simple thing where have you gone i'm getting old and i need something to rely on so tell me when you're gonna let me in i'm getting tired and i need somewhere to Brilliant stuff. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was great. Was it? How yeah. was it being to be on those doors? Nerve wracking, but exciting. Yeah? yeah? It was great. Okay, and what for you has been the best bit? It's just performing in front of these people. It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, really enjoyed it. And what's it like backstage? Oh, the atmosphere's great. Everyone's like friendly. It's, it's really cool. And your hair, we've actually dyed it, haven't we? Yeah. Have we? <laughs> dyed it and cut it? Yeah. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah, it's cool. Because it's one thing to kind of have a wig and be able to take it off and put it over there and yeah. get on with your life, but we've actually changed it. But you like it? Yes, yeah, cool. Yes, yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, Zach Harris as Tom Chaplin. <laughs> well done. Rid of their electric guitars, but our next star will never throw her Stratocasters out. She's a walking rock goddess. Mad hair, check. Leather slacks, 
check. Guitars, double check. You want rock? Let's start in Wookie Hole. It's star guest number three. <laughs> We're down here at Wookie Caves, there's loads to do, and we're going to try and find the infamous witch of Wookie Hole. Okay. <laughs> what made me want to be a star guide is it was like it's a once in a lifetime experience, and I just want to do it for like myself, really. Oh, no. She's got a nice personality, and she makes people laugh a lot all the time. <laughs> but she never stops singing. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that Kelly's obsessed with is her lip gloss. <laughs> <laughs> the person I'm going to be has big hair and a very big voice. And the song that I'm going to be singing hit the number one spot and remained there for 12 weeks in 1983. <laughs> <laughs> On the night when I perform, I think I'm going to be really nervous, but I want to the best that I can do because I don't want to muck it up, really. <laughs> no, no chance of that. I've seen the rehearsals. Here is Kelly Griggs. Tell me about this lip gloss fascination you've got. I've got 40 lip glosses. 40? <laughs> no girl needs 40 lip glosses. Even I don't have 40 lip glosses. I have very glossy lips. What flavours do you have and um, what are your favourites? And I like my cherry lip gloss. The cherry yeah. lip gloss. And even at school, I've heard. Yes, I have five in my pencil case. And all my friends, like, root round and, like, oh, which one's you got today? Just in case there's a lip gloss yeah. emergency. <laughs> yeah. OK. Now, your mum said that you could sing before you could talk. Is yeah. that true? Yeah. Justify that statement for me. Um, when I was two, yeah. I loved the video Bjork, It's Also Quiet. I remember, shh, yeah. shh, yeah. And I used to be on the sofa and I used to be jumping on it and, like, pretending it was, like, the barrels and everything jumping over them. And then mum would be like, get off the sofa, you're going to break my springs. <laughs> <laughs> now, you have many lucky charms, don't yes. you? You don't just have one, you have many. Explain yeah. to me. Um, I have my necklace from my brother, yep. which is boxing gloves. Yep. I have my dad's ring. Yep. I have my sister's ring and my mum's bracelet. So you are blinging yes. to the max yes. and <laughs> lucked up to the yeah. max. OK, well, hopefully they'll bring you luck yes, tonight. Yeah. Um, you told us earlier that the person that you're going to be has very big voice yeah. and very big hair, yes. <laughs> which we've seen. Um, so come on, give me some more clues. Um, she was born as Gaynor Hopkins. Mm -hmm. She did a duet with Shaken Stevens and she's known for a very husky rock voice. OK, so come on, tell us, who are you going to be tonight? Tonight, Kat, I'm going to be Bonnie Tyler. Bonnie Tyler. Do the bit. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Enjoy it. <laughs> Singing Total Eclipse of the Heart live, 14-year-old Penny Griggs is Bonnie Tyler. I get a little bit more and I'm never coming back. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit tired and I'm listening to the sound of my tears. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit nervous that the best of all the years are gone by. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit terrified and then I see the look in your eyes. Turn around. Love in the dark 
There's nothing I can do A total eclipse of the heart We're singing down that corridor <laughs> there. Um, now, what have your teachers been saying at school about you being on the show? That if I don't tell them who I'm going to be, I'm going to get detention. <laughs> but you didn't tell them, did you? No. So there you go. Now you know. <laughs> and she kept it a secret. How was it performing here in front of these people? Nervous, but it was good. It was fun. Because yeah. you come out and you suddenly turn into this big diva. Yeah. Did you feel that? Was there, like, a moment of transformation where you were turning around? Yeah, it's kind of you have to leave, like, Kelly behind and you have to come out as Bonnie, so... Yeah. It's fun. You did a fab job. Thank you. You gave it some, girl. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Kelly Griggs as Bonnie Tyler. <laughs> Through the doors, give us a call on 090 11 100 300 or look up all the details on Teletext page 579. It's 25p a call, a bit more from a mobile, and you should ask the bill payer's permission. All right. Still to come in part three, a 24 karat pop star with many facets and some industrial strength sunglasses. Stick to that sofa. <laughs> Guaranteed way to hit the charts is to get one of your songs onto a TV show. So think Sun, think Sea, think Scandal. Over to you, Star Voice Number Four. <laughs> We've come to our cross suit today to see what kind of animals there is. Oh, they're the ones that should be kept behind the bars. <laughs> <laughs> when I found out that I was going to be on the show, I was shocked. It made me tear from. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I think she'll be one of the best there. Yeah. She's got a lot of talent. The artist I'm going to be, her stage name, is a shortened version of her real name, Gemma Griffiths. On the night of the show, I think I'm going to be really nervous. But as soon as I walk through them doors, I know that I'll be fine. Well, those doors are waiting for Carly Marie Beardsley. Yeah. 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 Do you feel OK? Not too nervous? Yeah. No. Yeah. You'll, you'll be cool. I just have to say, wow, what sparkly shoes. I like a sparkly <laughs> shoe myself. I'm very partial to one. And those are spectacular. Now, you've got two ambitions, haven't you? Yeah. What are your two ambitions? First one's to be a pop star. OK, well, we can definitely do that. And the second one? To work in an office. They're very different, aren't they, those yeah. two? But anyway, we can make both of those happen. Take a look at this. This is office stars in their eyes. Hello. 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 Hello.
So, come on, what would you rather do? Pop star, office worker? Pop star, definitely. Pop star, OK. <laughs> well, we can make that happen. We can make that happen. Now, earlier on, that you told us that the person you're going to be, her real name is Gemma Griffiths. Yeah. Do you have any more clues for me? She was born in Cardiff in 1976. Mm -hmm. She co-written a song with Madonna. Mm -hmm. Her debut album was Finally Woken. Mm -hmm. And the song I'm singing tonight, she did the theme tune for Celebrity Love Island. OK, so come on, tell us, who are you going to be tonight? Tonight, Kat, I'm going to be Jem. Jem, give us a kiss. Mm -hmm. Good luck, enjoy it. Thank you go. <laughs> Singing Wish I Live, 15-year-old Carly Marie Beardsley is Jem. Was it, was it really, really good? Yeah. Was there ever a moment when you stood back there thinking, oh, why have I done this to myself? Why am I putting myself through it? Kind of, yeah. It's full on summer song. Yeah. So the outfit, do we like any of it? Yeah. We'd All like? It, yeah. We'd wear out? Yep. Yeah? Definitely? Yeah. And if you had to do it all again, would you? Yeah. Yeah? In a moment? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Carly Marie Beardsley as Gem. Well done. Superstars are so super they don't need a second name, like Madonna or Bono or Cher. But for some of them, a nickname is a term of endearment. For instance, the governor, the boss, the killer. But for one pop star, 
He went even further and was known just by a single letter. So here's star guest number five. <laughs> I like all sorts of sports. Um, about a year ago, I started playing golf. And if it's a nice day, I like to come down here to Pabrick Park to get a bit of practicing with my mates. Well, my mum encouraged me to apply for the programme and she thought it'd be a really good experience for me. And it has turned out to be. <laughs> I do a couple of impressions and uh, my mum's about the only person that thinks they're good. Sri and I are great fan of Stars in Her Eyes and that Kat Deeby is a fantastic presenter. And that was Tony Blair. Yeah. A couple of clues to the person I'm going to be tonight. He was born on the 23rd of April 1936 in Vernon, Texas. And in 1963, he accepted an offer to go on tour with the Beatles. Oh. I think Stars in Her Eyes is a great show because it gives ordinary people the chance to perform in front of a live audience. And also, it's a bit different because you're not performing as yourself, you perform with someone else. Good, Good luck, Andy. Andy. Hope you sing it's better than you go. Well, that is the idea, so bring it on, Andrew Norman. <laughs> uh, I like the way you have to say it's Toby Blair afterwards. Properly <laughs> <laughs> clear it up. But it's the hands, though, isn't it? Yeah. Once you've got the hands, it's all right. <laughs> now, what kind of sports do you do? Um, I like football, obviously a member of the golf club, yep. and I do a bit of athletics in the summer. OK, and I know that you did very, very well last year, football-wise, didn't you? Yeah, I got 63 goals in 36 games from the club. 63 goals out of 36 seconds? That's amazing. Yeah. And, and what did they name you? Uh, well, my manager and a couple of the boys called me the goal machine. The goal machine! <laughs> I love it. And so how's it going this season? Uh, goals have dried up a bit, so now I'm just Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. They'll come back. Yeah. <laughs> It'll come back. Now, have you ever been injured while you've been playing it, all these sports? Or? Um, yeah, I was actually on holiday at sports camp and I uh, tore my calf muscle. So uh, I was out of the, all the sports for that week. And how did you do it? How did you tear your calf? Um, I was in the pool right. and it just went. And I sort of dragged myself to the side of the pool and went, Mum, Mum, like that. I'm drowning! <laughs> and she went and waved back. <laughs> 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 nice to see you. Have yeah. a lovely time. Carried on with the <laughs> magazine. Bye. Um, now, earlier on, you told us that the person that you're going to be um, was born in 1936. Yeah. Do you have any more clues for him? His first band were called the Wink Westerners. Yeah. Uh, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1987 uh -huh. and he's famous for always wearing dark glasses. OK, so come on, tell us, who are you going to be tonight? Tonight, Kat, I'm going to be Roy Orbison. Roy Orbison. <laughs> well, well done. See ya. <laughs> Singing Oh Pretty Woman live, 14-year-old Andrew Norman is... Roy Orbison. Okay. <laughs> 
It was good, yeah. Did you enjoy yeah. it? Can you give me a mercy? <laughs> mercy. I love it. And give me, give me a. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you do that so brilliantly. Did did that take longer to learn than the song, or, or was it okay? No, strangely, I'll just do it. <laughs> really? <laughs> Very good. Yeah. And your mum's been helping you practice, hasn't she? Yeah, she's uh, been making notes of the words I do wrong and telling me. <laughs> telling you exactly what you should <laughs> be doing. Was it like being stood behind those doors? Um, frightening. Couldn't see a thing from the smoke. Gonna, but, uh... I was going to say, was it better having the dark glasses on or is it worse? Um, well, for looking like a bit of a Wally, it's worse, but I can't see too much. It's all right. Yeah. You don't look like a Wally, you look like a dude. It's cool. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Norman as Roy Alderson. <laughs> the 80s and now, but which era, which voice will be getting the votes and going through to the live final? Find out who they are in just a moment. <laughs> Welcome back to Stars in Our Ice Kids and we're just minutes away from finding out the identity of our next champion. Of course, that's down to these good people, so to help them along, here's a reminder. Alison Halliday became the artist formerly known as Ginger, Jerry Halliwell. Zach Harris was very keen as the baby faced Tom Chaplin. I came across branches of them looking. Briggs pulled out all the stops for some huge rock opera with Bonnie Tyler. Once upon a time I was falling in love And now there's only love in the dark There's nothing I can do A total eclipse of the heart Carly Marie Beardsley gave us the fresh new voice of pop, Gem. Wish I And Andrew Norman was oh so perfect as Roy Orbison. She's walking back to me. Whoa, whoa, really Audience, it's your choice, so please vote now. Will it be Jerry Halliwell? Tom Chaplin? Bonnie Tyler. Jem. Or Roy Orbison. And the winner is... Bonnie Tyler! <laughs> In a million years? No. Not in a million. How is it backstage? Uh, everyone's really friendly. Yeah, yeah, and really good fun. Now, it's live grand final time. Yeah. You have to come back in the white frock and give it <laughs> again. Do you think you can do it? 
Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And your brother's going to be very happy to be coming back again. Yes. Yeah. Loves you. Ah, he's going to be very happy. <laughs> yes. We got that in, you see. Um, now, do you think you could do us a favour and sing again for us? I'd love to. Would you? If you'd like to go over there and get yourself ready. You. Ladies and gents, Kelly. <laughs> is in the final but if you think one of tonight's remaining four deserves a ticket there just get on the phone and vote the runner-up with the most home votes over the entire series will be back on this stage singing live to try and become our ultimate champion here are their numbers for Jerry Halliwell, call 090-107750-01 or text Jerry to 63338. For Tom Chaplin, call 090-107750-02 or text Tom to 63338. For Jem, call 090-107750-03 or text Jem to 63338. For Roy Orbison, call 090-107750-04 or text Roy to 63338. Calls cost 30p, bit more from a mobile. Texts are 25p plus one message at the standard network rate. And please get permission from the bill payer. Lines close at midday Monday, so get your skates on. The live final is just a few weeks away. Here is tonight's champion one more time. It is Kelly Griggs as Bonnie Tyler. <laughs> And then I get a little more home Every now and then I get a little bit tired And I'm listening to the sound of my tears Every now and then I get a little bit nervous That the best of all the years are gone by Every now and then I get a little bit terrified And then I see the look in your eyes Every now and then I fall apart And I need you now tonight And I need you more than ever And if you only hold me tight We'll be holding on forever I will only be making it right Cause we'll never be wrong Together we can take it to the end Falling in love And now there's only love in the dark There's nothing I can do A total eclipse of the heart And I need you now tonight Falling apart. There's nothing I can do. A total eclipse of the heart. Yeah. in the live grand final where she'll be singing for your votes alongside Josh Stone, Gary Jules, Lucy Silvers, Lamar, Kylie Minogue and our last winner, The Voice, Christina Aguilera.
We'll be back next week for more from the doors. We'll see you then. Thanks very much for watching. Good night. Good night. <laughs>